Harry took two DNA tests. Has turned ghastly white over the first DNA test Archie is not his son. Prince Harry allegedly took two DNA tests last year to determine if Archie is really his biological son. According to Globe, the tests revealed two different results. The first DNA test revealed that Prince Harry isn't Archie's biological father. In the days leading up to Prince Harry's wife, Meghan, giving birth, the couple was stunned to learn a DNA test using amniotic fluid, routinely performed on royal babies, revealed the redhead is not the child's daddy, a source said. The insider claimed that Prince Harry refused to accept the result of the test and was devastated. The Duke of Sussex allegedly turned ghastly white and Markle burst into tears in shock. An angry Prince Harry allegedly called the first DNA test a scam. He also accused those who administered the test of concocting a conspiracy against him and his child. The Duke of Sussex doesn't want Archie to go through the same struggles that he went through all his life. For years, there have been rumors suggesting that Prince Charles isn't Prince Harry's father. In order to appease his mind, Prince Harry took a second DNA test. After getting the results, he learned that Markle's unborn child is really his. However, the members of the royal family aren't convinced that Markle's child is also Prince Harry's son. At that time, Gossip Cop debunked the claims made by the tabloid. The publication called the story fictitious. They also said that it is unlikely for Prince Harry not to be Archie's father. One year passed and the publication revisited the story about Archie's paternity. Gossip Cop revealed that Markle has been accused of flirting with other men that's why there are dubious claims that Prince Harry isn't the one who got her pregnant. But a recent video of Archie proves that this isn't the case. Archie looks more like Prince Harry than his mum. The rumors about Prince Harry not being Prince Charles' biological son aren't true either. However, some royal fans are convinced that Prince Harry is the son of Princess Diana's lover, James Hewitt because of the color of their hair. Prince Charles and Princess Diana aren't redheads but Hewitt is. However, more reliable royal experts reveal that some members of Princess Diana's family are redheads. Hewitt has also denied the conspiracy theory about his being Prince Harry's father. He said that this isn't the case because Prince Harry was already born when he met Princess Diana. But due to the fact that people love themselves a conspiracy theory, Harry's paternity has been called into question over the years by people who believe that his real father is Princess Diana's riding instructor, a man named James Hewitt, aka this handsome gent. Conspiracy theorists often point to the fact that both Harry and Hewitt have red hair, and also the fact that they look basically the exact same. So let's unpack this thing, shall we? It's a fact that in 1986, just two years after Prince Harry was born, Princess Diana started an affair with Hewitt the Horse Whisperer, which went on for five years. Princess Diana herself admitted that she and Hewitt had an affair during a BBC Panorama program in 1995. Meanwhile, Hewitt mused in an interview, it was never her intention to fall in love with me, and it was certainly not my intention to fall in love with Diana, but it happened because of the circumstances throwing us together, it's very difficult to say how physical she wanted the relationship to become and I'm not going to suggest one way or the other whose fault it was, it developed and it was mutual. If you're in need of more proof, meet Diana's former bodyguard Ken Worf, who wrote in his book Diana, closely guarded secret that the pair usually met at an old cottage in Devon belonging to Shirley, Hewitt's mother, where the creaking bedroom floorboards told the story more loudly than any confession but told the story. <laughs>
Thank you.